Hey you guys, so some people were asking about my look from this week's photo shoot with Pink Coconut. So we went ahead and put together a quick makeup tutorial for you guys, so I hope you enjoy. And we will be linking the products that I'm using and the outfit that I'm wearing, which is one of my favorites with Pink Coconut. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I do make sure to do dabbing motions so it seeps into the skin instead of wiping it off. I kind of like to think of making a triangle under my eye, down the bridge of my nose, and the side of my nose. And I do like taking the extra and patting it on my eye. I think it works really well to hold the eyeshadow. And I do kind of let it sit under my eyes for a second, just to kind of dry up a little bit so it stays on more. Okay, so this step is super important to me um, just because someone taught me this. And ever since then, I have paid attention to it the most. So if you're like me and you have these lines under your eyes, um, I always like to look down and kind of dab them out because the concealer does kind of get stuck in it. So then I'll dab it out and then right away press this baking powder into it to keep it from kind of clumping up under my eye throughout the day. I think it just looks super clean. And then I do like to kind of pack this on. I will be wiping it later uh, just to keep the eyeshadow from, from falling down and getting dark under my eyes.
so I will go in and before I put powder all over my face I like to put the bronzer um, just so there's not too many layers of powder and it does kind of have a more defined look I also like to start by my hairline just because wherever you dab the brush first that's kind of where the powder stays the most so I'll start here so the brush has the most product on it and then I'll kind of bring it down just like in a line like this just like right below your cheekbone sometimes I'll even push up because I think it just looks really clean if everything kind of goes up on your face I do like bringing my makeup down my neck a little bit because I don't want any lines. I think it just helps with that. Again, I do pin my hair up when I do my makeup. Sometimes I will put a headband on just to kind of keep the makeup out of my hair. I am blonde, so it does happen more often. I do like to go over kind of the light spots that I did with the concealer just to kind of keep everything bright. And this kind of cleans up that line. We will blend out at the end. So I do put this highlighter in the corner of my eye and then right under my eyebrow. Same color I put right under, just kind of in my lash line. Then I kind of do like windshield wiper motions just to kind of blend everything together. I do just kind of brush that powder off, lick it like this, just because if the eyeshadow did fall, I want it to flick off instead of seeping into the skin. Again, so I take that bronzer down the bridge of my nose just for a more defined look, pictures. 
And then I take that light powder. Kind of outline the shape I want to make. And I do kind of brighten it up right here so it makes a little bit of an angle. Again, I do like starting here and kind of doing the line up and then starting from like this point and then going down so it kind of goes in the shape of an arch. Set it with a powder. Okay, so this part of the Smashbox brow set um, does kind of just set them together in, in one place all throughout the day. Uh, you can also spray hairspray on like the end of a lash brush or something like in the same form and use that to make them stay in that perfect shape. So for lashes, I do take the dark glue, I put a little bit on my hand and I am using these lashes by Ardell, the mink ones. Kind of like shape them. And then run it through the glue. Dry for a sec, I think it just sticks better and makes it easier to put on. Okay, so when I do this, I set it in the center of my eye and then I pull to one side and make sure it's as far as it can go and then I pull to the other side. Okay, so next a little trick I like to do is I take a makeup wipe and kind of wipe off all of the products that go on my lips in order to, ha to have a clean palette for the lipstick. So next I take this Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and I line all around. And then I take my MAC lipstick and kind of just fill it in. Take my brush and just kind of blend everything together. Again, I go in up motions. I'm also gonna take this airbrush flawless finish and kind of just pat everything. In. It helps if you smile when you do blush because it kind of shows you exactly where that line is. And this acts as both a blush and a highlighter, which is why I love it. And then I am on the dry side, so I like to spray this just to kind of refresh everything. Okay. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So this is my go-to for all of my pink coconut photo shoots. So stay tuned for more videos and we will be linking the products below and then also this top that I'm wearing as well. So thanks for tuning in and see you guys next time.